Hello and welcome to the Maxon Video Quick Tips. This time we would like to show you how a simple hair setup is done. The best thing is you start with the polygon selection, then you go to the simulation menu and select hair objects, add hair. Now we need to lower the length of the guides. Simply click on the hair object, go to guides and change the length. Now we want to make sure that the tips of the guides don't fall into the object, so we select our head object and give it a hair collider tag. After that, we click on the hair object again and make sure that the guides have only 5 segments. That makes them stiffer. Now hit play and at a specific point, stop the animation. Now go to the simulation menu, hair edit and Select the function set as dynamics. This makes sure if we go back into our animation, the hair stays at its place. Now we can use the tools to cut and brush the hair. If you're somehow satisfied with the look, you can go to the hair material, double click it and to make it look more natural, because the standard makes the hair very straight, simply activate length, scale and frizz. You can close the material now. What we need to do now is to change the count of the hair, because if we render now you can see it's not enough hair on the head. So we change to the hair object change to the tab hairs and the count, the standard count of 5000 can be changed to 120,000. Also change to the tab fill hairs, activate it and change the standard of 40,000 to 80,000. Now you can hit the render button. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.